What has the reaction from the EU been to Trump suspending travel from the whole 26-country Schengen zone? Breaking news. U.S. President Donald Trump has announced sweeping new travel restrictions on Europe in a bid to combat the spread of the coronavirus. In a televised address, he said travel from 26 European countries would be suspended for the next 30 days. But he said the strong but necessary restrictions would not apply to the UK, where 460 cases of the virus have now been confirmed. Mr. Trump said the European Union had failed to take the same precautions as the US in fighting the virus. A presidential proclamation, published shortly after Mr. Trump's address, specified that the ban applies to anyone who has been in the EU's Schengen border free area within 14 days prior to their arrival in the US. NB additional reasons given in the US proclamation. The administration's European travel proclamation notes that the Schengen area has exported 201 COVID-19 cases to 53 countries. Moreover, the free flow of people between the Schengen area countries makes the task of managing the spread of the virus difficult. What has the official reaction from the EU been regarding this US action? There have been a number of reactions from the EU so far, some official, others not so much. I've decided, in the world of Twitter diplomacy, to count tweets from ministers and current, former heads of government as official responses for this purpose. Responses are in chronological order, culminating with the joint statement by President von der Leyen and President Michel. The first response from a current or former head of government came from former Finnish Prime and Foreign Minister, Alexander Stubb who tweeted at 5.18 Coordinated Universal Time, Any attempt to contain the hashtag Corona outbreak is welcome, but the decision of at real Donald Trump to exclude the UK from a European travel ban is nothing short of irresponsible. Viruses do not recognize borders. Decisions should be based on facts, not politics. The European Council President, Charles Michel, then tweeted his initial response at 6.12 Coordinated Universal Time, saying that following the travel ban at Real Donald Trump announced, we will assess the situation today, economic disruption must be avoided, hashtag Europe is taking all necessary measures to contain the spread of the hash COVID-19 virus, limit the number of affected people and support research, former Prime Minister of Romania and current leader of the Renew Party in the European Parliament, Dacian Cholos, tweeted that viruses know no borders or nationalities. Nationalism and blame games are no antidote. This is a global crisis, which requires global solidarity, at real Donald Trump. Containment measures are needed, but not arbitrary ones. Europe will be your partner, but not your scapegoat. Hash COVID-19 speaking to BBC Breakfast, British Chancellor Rishi Sunak said that the UK had no plan to emulate the US travel ban. I am aware the UK is no longer an EU member, but I feel this response is still relevant. We haven't believed that that's the right thing to do. The evidence here doesn't support that. What we are trying to do is contain the virus while recognizing that it is now likely that it will spread more significantly. Guy Verhofstadt, former Prime Minister of Belgium, tweeted at 9.51 Coordinated Universal Time that nationalism isn't the answer to hash COVID-19 because viruses don't care about borders or nationalities. We are all in this together. We need a European approach to save lives and bold interventions to protect our economy. At 1040 Coordinated Universal Time, an official joint statement was released by President Ursula von der Leyen and President Charles Michel. The coronavirus is a global crisis, not limited to any continent and it requires cooperation rather than unilateral action. The European Union disapproves of the fact that the US decision to improve a travel ban was taken unilaterally and without consultation. The European Union is taking strong action to limit the spread of the virus.